Shalom. I would like to welcome our friends from around the world, our Tsenu delegates and alternates to the World Zionist Congress and reform activists and leaders from around the world. Thank you for joining our Tsenu's pre-seminar of the World Zionist Congress. My name is David Bernstein and I'm Deputy Director General of the Israel Reform Movement in charge of overseas relations and development. As all of you are aware, the past decade has been a decade of tremendous growth in our movement. This is despite the many challenges we face in terms of recognition in Israeli society. Today, we have an opportunity to update you about where we are at now and our challenges of the future, and also how we've dealt with the very, very difficult period of the COVID pandemic. I would like to introduce my colleague and friend, Anna Kozlanski, who is one of the main architects of the phenomenal development and growth of our movement. Anna serves as Deputy Director General and Chief Operations Officer of the Israel Reform Movement. Anna, the Zoom is yours. Thank you, David. Dear Artsenu delegates, leaders in our reform, liberal, and progressive movements from throughout the world. I want to again welcome you to this very different virtual pre-conference before the World Zionist Congress on behalf of the lay leadership, staff, congregations, and members of the Israel Reform Movement. I am updating you on the situation of our movement in Israel at a very complicated and challenging time for all of us around the world, wherever we are. Just prior to the high holidays, Israel went into its second complete closure in which among the restrictions our Batei Knesset have had to close and all the activities we do are online as is this Congress that you are participating in. We know that in all of your communities, similar challenges are being faced. We made a clear decision as did our movements throughout this world to use this challenging situation as an opportunity to reach the maximum amount of people and offer them spiritual and cultural Jewish refuah during this period. In Israel, we knew that with people homebound and in very difficult family and personal situations, that there was a chance that our pluralistic Jewish egalitarian services, study events, music and holiday celebrations and commemorations would touch their hearts and minds. Since March, our movement and congregations have worked together to make egalitarian progressive reform Judaism accessible to hundreds of thousands of Israelis. We have succeeded in doing this despite the fact that like in many of your movements, we had to make a painful budget cuts of around 20% as a result of the COVID pandemic. However, we have not laid off workers in the movement and even increased our investment in social media and online content. We worked tirelessly to improve our online tools and resources. We established an Israel Reform Movement online broadcast channel that provides content to both our congregations and to the public at large. We redoubled our efforts to provide resources that individuals and families could download from our internet site and use for home holiday celebrations and other special occasions. This includes a special downloadable Passover Seder, Israel Memorial Day and Independence Day materials, resources for Shavuot, and of course resources for each of the high holidays. Hundreds of thousands of Israelis downloaded our resources from the internet over the past seven months since the crisis began. We sent and put on YouTube many short films during the holidays. The movement and almost all of our 52 congregations broadcast special holiday events in which tens of thousands of Israelis participated online. 
Prior to Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we advertised our online services on Israeli radio in short 15 second segments and saw much interest. Of course, we clearly stated that we are the Israel reform movement and that we are broadcasting services online, including Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. All this proves again, what we know from professional surveys that there is a target audience that wants what our movement has to offer. We have continued primarily online. Our activities with Russian speaking Israelis, youth, young adults, education, and our Israel diaspora relations project. In all these spheres, we have had to make adjustments, but we have not stopped any activity. Our legal and public policy arm, the Israeli Religious Action Center, continues to fight both for our movement and for Israeli society as a whole. We have had success in getting some of our congregations places to worship in their local municipalities. And at the same time, recently had a victory in our Supreme Court case calling on disciplinary action to be taken against the chief rabbi of Tzfat, Shlomo Eliyahu, for racist and inflammatory comments against Arabs and members of the LGBTQ community. One of the accomplishments that we are very proud of is that we are about to complete the publishing of a new Israeli reform Sidur, Tfilat Adam, which combines traditional and modern authentic Jewish and Israeli liturgy. In the next few weeks, this will come to all our congregations and be in Israel's major bookstores. Like all of you, we are dealing with two major challenges, how to maintain the growing interest in our movement during this Corona period that doesn't seem to be coming to an end, and especially how to keep people involved and engaged in our movement and congregations when the corona pandemic finally comes to an end. For us, members of Jewish communities all around the world, only a covenant of destiny can overcome the physical distance between us. We need to ensure solidarity in each of our societies and among ourselves. I believe that we can meet and overcome the challenges posed to us by the corona epidemic while maintaining our deep faith and commitment, while nurturing a promising future for the Jewish people and the state of Israel. From here in Israel, I wish you and your families health and safety. I want to thank all of you for your solidarity and support for our movement in Israel through your participation in the World Zionist Congress and through all that you do. תודה רבה.